Welcome back. CCP Mayor Vaidahi Naik is firm on going ahead with the garbage treatment site at Bayangini. CCP will submit its report on tailor-made methodology on working of garbage plant at the site. Also, the garbage waste will be segregated within six months. CCP has shown willingness to demarcate some areas in Panji as pay parking. Parking will be allowed on one side of the road. The CCP Commissioner has given a start to tackle the garbage menace in Panji. Commissioner Sanjit Rodrigue says, for the type of garbage disposal he is eyeing at in the Bayangini plant, the corporation needs to achieve 100% segregation of waste. For this, he has urged the councillors to supervise garbage collection in their respective areas. He has given a clear sign of going ahead with the Bayangini plant. Right now, the Pato disposal facility is working day in and day out to dispose the garbage generated. We have uh, gone far ahead in this segregation. It is a positive uh, thing and we will enforce this even further. We have finer issues of uh, non-segregation from residences, colonies, which is being tackled. So we intend going uh, from uh, colony to colony, house to house, to uh, create this awareness and get this uh, segregation up to the mark. To improve the flow of the traffic in Panji, CCP has in principle resolved of identifying and notifying heavy traffic lanes as one-way parking lanes. I mean, traffic selakade ulon uh, also ek nirnay getlalo ki je Panji che two-way street asa, we can directly convert them into one-way street without any hindrance, without any um, uh, impediment to residents or traders. But it will in fact help residents to reach their destination faster because of less congestion. It will help the residents and traders to come to their destination point much quicker. Today the corporation has approved one-way street proposal. We will have to now work on a very systematic one-way street proposal. The corporation has also decided to notify pay parking zones. The commissioner says it is not to penalize but to bring discipline amongst the city commuters. In certain areas where Traders are not affected, residents are not being inconvenienced, and people resort to long, long hours of parking. We have proposed to the corporation that these areas should be made pay parking. Corporation has in principle approved this idea. It is not a measure to penalize people. It is a first time measure to bring and add discipline to our roads and civic sense. A reporter from Panji Pratik Parab with video journalist Unkar Falari. Race for university election is picking up. A university class representative contesting the Goa University student election has demanded university's director for students' welfare to disqualify students who have not submitted accounts of CR elections. Otherwise, he has threatened to approach the court. University directors for students' welfare is likely to meet on Saturday to take a call on the issue. On Friday, a group of agitated students protested outside the university premises. They claim that some of the class representatives have violated the election code of conduct. Some of the representatives have not submitted their report on expense incurred during the class representative elections. Sai Stalolekar, a candidate contesting university student elections, informed that they will approach the court against the Director of Affairs for Students' Welfare Committee if the violators are not disqualified. <laughs> 14 ता पहिली ऑडिट 14 चार पहिली ऑडिट फॉर्म दिउ जाय म्हणून पण ते आम्ही सबमिट केला बाकी जे कोणी यूज यार रन ऑडिट फॉर्म दिउ ना पहिले डिस्क्वालिफाय जाव जाय ते म्हणता आफ्टर द नॉमिनेशन आम्ही स्क्रूटनी टाइम आर ते पहिले म्हणता पण आमका त्याचे पहिली जाय की द रिझल्ट तो त्यांच्यानी सांगला आमका रजिस्टर अगडे फाले उलो आमका सांचे इवनिंग पर आमका किदे त्या डिसिजन सांगतले म्हणून सो आम्ही फर्दर डायरेक्शन घेतले आम्ही आम्ही कोर्टाचे कोर्टा पडन वतले त्यांचे दरवाजे खडकडतले Convey of Director Affairs of Students Welfare Rahul Tripathi informed that meeting of committee on the issue is scheduled on Saturday. Regarding submission of the audit statements and, and disqualification, they have been assured that uh, uh, a committee will look into it. Uh, since our registrar is not here, uh, he is supposed to come. Uh, the moment he comes, uh, a committee will uh, look into uh, all the rules, procedures and the spirit of the statutes to be able to decide on uh, the, the issue of the submission of audit reports. With video journalist Umkal Falari, reporter Mahesh Kadi for Prudent Media.
noted Marathi actor Prashant Damle has stressed need for more theatre centres in the state. Damle was in the state to perform famous Marathi drama Sri Tashi Sau. The drama was held at Margao on Friday. That's it. That's it. He had an interaction with the media in Panaji. He has performed over 800 shows of this drama. Overall, he has performed in more than 9,000 shows. Shri Tashisa was held at Margao on Friday. On Saturday, it will be held at Kuchade and on Sunday at Kala Academy in Panaji. A video journalist, Devindra Gaunkar. For the first time, international jazz stars will perform in Goa. First jazz show by Glenn Perry will be held in Panji on Saturday. This is Rocky's presentation. Glenn addressed the media in Panji. Senior video journalist Toshi Das Chari. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.